They shall run red, my father, the rivers they shall run red. And the eels shall all be dead, my father, the eels shall all be dead. Oh, I'll snatch them, catch them, spoil them, boil them, put them in a basket, shoot that basket, the eels shall never be a threat, my father, and ne'er shall we forget. Oh, I'll bake them, shake them, plain forsake them, put them in a pastry, shoot that pastry, the eels shall never be a threat, my father, and ne'er shall we Good morning from East Anglia. I'm Morris Diker and welcome to Woodworking with me, Morris Diker. With me, Morris Diker. Now that eel season is in full flow, it's the perfect time of year to be handcrafting one of my favourite woodworking items, the wooden eel spoon. Or lure if you want to be a cunt about it. Now there's no greater feeling in life than sitting yourself down on the riverbank, cracking open a can or two of Rio Tropical, casting out a line and hooking into a giant freshwater eel with one of my famous eel spoons. Feeling that line go taut, pulling it up from the depths as it gasps for air, making a deep primal connection with the beast that you have mastered and looking into its eyes as its soul slowly ebbs away. I am the predator. You are my child scum of the earth. You are mine now. I have conquered thee. I have conquered thee. All right, but before we get to this, we're going to need something along the lines of this. Now, I normally go for a slightly larger piece of green oak, but Jeremy at the timberyard has not quite forgiven me for the time I lost his electric planer. And bang the sister. What's that? I, I said, and bang the sister. You want to back the fuck up? Now, it's about time I started sanding this puppy down. This P400 grit Silverton sandpaper was handed to me by my late father, as it was passed unto him by my grandfather, as it was passed unto him by my great grandfather, who passed it unto my grandfather, and so on and so forth. Unfortunately, if your piece of sandpaper or filing equipment of choice is not a family heirloom, you will be unable to continue with the woodworking process. So please stop watching this video right now and go do something better with your day. Some suggestions should be scrolling past right about now. Should be gone by now, let's get on with it. The sanding process may take a while. Shush now, Daddy's sanding. Daddy, Daddy, look what I found! Shush now, Daddy's sanding. I hate you, Dad, I can't believe you missed my fucking wedding! Shush now, Daddy's sanding. Perfect. That's great, that table's been on the piss for years. Nice to get that sorted. And now let's make our wooden eel spoon. I first learned these techniques from Ove Ludwig Thorvaldsen's seminal work, Viking Guinness Trebeerbeich Ning Zemmel together, otherwise known as the Woodworking Secrets of the Vikings, in which you can read the tales of how the great Viking marauders, using nothing but their woodworking skills and fishing noose overcame the deep sea armies of Atlantis in a battle decades long. But I digress. First thing we're going to need to do is to shape the wood with a nice sharp carving. Ow! Oh, the fuck sharp am I? First, drill a hole for your hook. Varnish the wood. What about this? Bribe a foreign diplomat. Summon Odin. Finally, we're going to undertake a process known to the Vikings as baking. Come with me. I have behind me what the Vikings would have called a furnace, but I'm forced to call it a barbecue. So we're just going to go right ahead, lift up the lid, and pop in our little eel blank to cure in there. In the meantime, I shall set a timer. Don't worry about this, it's just excess. Look at 
that spoon. You'll be the greatest eel fisherman in the land with one of these. What about a fishing rod? What's that? Well, isn't a strong fishing rod more important than an eel spoon? 28 newtons, Darren. What? 28 newtons, Darren. The average bite force of a 14-pound freshwater eel. Bet you didn't know that. 17 mile an hour and that's the top speed. Sorry. You know, I didn't think you'd be asking such ridiculous questions if you'd ever experienced the deadly power of a seven-foot freshwater eel in person. A strong fishing rod. A strong fishing rod. You can forget about it when your fucking spoon snaps and one of those freshwater torpedoes comes at you. If it happens to you, boy, you better start praying. By the love of Thor, you better start praying. I've been Morris Diker, and you've been watching Woodworking with me, Morris Diker, with me, Morris Diker. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe below. I made you another one, Papa. And the rivers, they shall run red. Don't worry about this, it's just excess.